Hey, everybody. We are uh, here at school on a Tuesday, and we're starting our week two, basically um, going over our vocabulary words. And let's, let's talk about them really quick. So you guys have your words in front of you, and I'll read them to you. And then I'm going to show you how to, to do uh, the lesson tonight. So sitting still, just watching. Here we go. Uh, let's take a look at our basic words. Tier one, easy ones. Tap. Don't you wish that was a spelling word? Tap, right? Yeah. To put, to pat gently with your fingers over and over. Stranger, someone you have never met before. What do we say? Stranger. There you go. Uh, stared. To look at something or someone for a very long time. And then similar, two or more things that are very much the same. So we have similar, stared, stranger, and tap for our basic words. How about our context words? Words that we have to read in a paragraph or in a sentence to really get a grasp on, right? So here we go. We have repeated, to do or say something over and over. Embarrassed, yeah. Mm -hmm. How many of you have ever been embarrassed? I know I have been. Feeling shy or uncomfortable about something you did or said. Oh, boy, have I ever been embarrassed. Okay, assume to think that something is true without having much information at all. Ask your parents the old-timey saying that, that old folks used to tell us when we were kids. I can't probably tell you that one, but I know they would love to tell you. Um, assume. Fantasize. To imagine something in your head, it's made up, not real, right? Pictured, to get a very clear vision in your mind, to see it clearly. That's what I always tell athletes. Picture yourself doing it, right? See yourself doing it. Contagious, something that catches on. It's just natural for others to do the same thing. Contagious. All right, those are your uh, context words. Now, here are your common words. Remarkable. Very amazing. It's impressive. Remarkable. Overheard. To hear others talking in a conversation that you are not involved in. How many of you have overheard always. something? Yeah, always, right? Okay. How about this one? Ready? Whispered. To talk in a soft, low voice, not loud. That's what you guys got to practice on that one, right? And then immediately... To be done right away without waiting any longer, right? To be done, to do something immediately, right? All right, so those are your words this week. Um, so right now I'm having you guys, I'm having the kids set up this page. All right? And so and most of you already got it, but here it is, nevertheless. All right, so you would do this. Watch. I might do something like this. I might get fancy. I'm going to do this. Kind of like the subject heading in a book, right? Right? And I'm going to put a tack. And then I am going to write the definition down. What does what tap mean? To what? To pat gently with your fingers over and over. And let me show you where you're going to find that. I'm writing it because I'm going to show you how I want these to look. With your fingers over and over. Period, right? I want capitalization at the beginning, right? Maybe I should practice what I preach. Get used to it. Okay, now, you ready? Where are you going to find these? Okay. Well, I had you all log into Google Classroom. You'll see, you'll notice it says week two vocabulary, right? So you'll click on that. And right here, it says week two definitions. You guys can pull up your definitions and you can go right at it. Look. We're going to do stranger, right? 
I'm going to put that one right over here under basic words. So I'll put number two, and you can skip lines if you want. That won't bother me. Stranger. Stra what do we say, stranger? All right. Just checking to see. Someone you have never met before, right? And you have that. You have that definition right at your table, right? There it is. All right. So what's going to happen when you get all those done? So I'm going to do three, four. There's four of those, right? One, two, three. No, five. No, there's four. And you get you get this done. You get the definitions done, right? And you, all right. So now, what's the next thing you're going to do? You're going to do your context work. So you do. You write in subheading, context, words. Right? And then you'll continue to number down. How many are those? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, it looks like six. So I would just number one through six. And then the first context word is going to be what? Everyone? Repeated. Okay. And then to do or say something over and over again. Isn't that like tap? Over and over again. Now, take a look at this one. This one took me all the way out to the pink line, didn't it? And do you notice how I negotiated that? I stopped at the pink line and went right back down underneath that. And then what do, what, what, what do I need? I didn't put it, but I need it. Mm -hmm. I should probably learn to capitalize. Okay. You guys got it? So now, how are you going to do this today? You're going to use your um, Google Classroom account to get to the definitions. Okay? Why don't you guys go ahead and work on that? All right. Those are vocabulary words for week two. Vocabulary to Daryl out.